everybody, this is Johnny Snow in the building. And um, today I'm gonna go over a few pieces out of the safe. And uh, basically, you know, these are, I'm not gonna go over all my guns because this video will be way too long. But uh, I'm gonna go over a few of the ones that that I think uh, everybody will probably wanna go, but go run out there and get. So first off, I'm gonna start off with this. This is uh, my Masterpiece Arms MPA DMG 30. This is basically a new school MAC-10. New school MAC-10, shoot nine millimeter, and uh, it uses Glock mags. This right here is a pretty smooth shooting weapon. I like it, I like it, I like it. And this right here, you know, it, it, anybody who knows MAC-10 knows that this used to be the gun back in the days. And back in, back in my time, everybody wanted a MAC-10. So when I saw this, I had to snatch it up. And, of course, I've done my thing to it, you know, put a few attachments on it. You know, I put the vented barrel extension on it, 50 round drum, riser, red dot, and of course the angled foregrip. This angled foregrip makes this a very usable gun. Instead of grabbing it like this, you grab it like that, and you know, you have complete control of this weapon. This is an awesome gun. I do recommend it. I do recommend it. I do recommend it. So if you ever get a chance to snatch one up, snatch it up. Shoots good. Shoots good. All right, next we're gonna look at my Freedom Ordinance FX9. Now, this has been heavily modified. You know, you do not buy this gun out of the box like this. This right here is, uh, I've done pretty much all I can do to this, uh, except for, I guess, the muzzle device, but nah, the muzzle device is fine. But um, this is what I've done. I put the Tyrant Design pistol grip and foregrip on it, and uh, Phase 5 buffer tube, skeletonized arm brace. We have the Strike Industries Cobra trigger guard and Strike Industries enhanced capsule nut. And this gun right here is awesome. This is by far the smoothest shooting weapon that I own. Yeah, I would suggest that this right here is something that you know your daughter, your woman, or even your kids, you know, if you want to train them on something, this is the one to do it. This right here is just, you know, I'll put it this way. This is my bedside gun. This is what I keep beside my bed. And this is the gun that I am the most accurate with. Uh, hate to admit it, but yeah, this gun right here, I, I love this gun. So I highly recommend this gun. Also uses nine millimeter and also uses Glock mag. So definitely if you get a chance to get this, snatch it up. One of my favorite weapons. One of my favorite weapons. Yes, yes, yes. Moving right along. Let's go.
go to the neck nine. This is my Draco neck nine. Also uses Glock mags, also uh, nine millimeter. And this gun right here, I've only shot it one time. And uh, I must say the one time that I did shoot it, I liked it. And um, I have a lot more about to happen to this gun. Um, as you see, I've already put the cheese grater on it. I've put the Barrett on the front, have a riser, have a red dot and I'm getting ready to change the wood out. I'm getting ready to go with uh, Kalash and the Carver. They got some custom wood that they're making for me. It's going on the on the front, and I'm getting a pistol grip, and I have a brace ordered. So, you know, this already has the screw hole in the back for the brace. You do not have to drill it to put a brace on it. It also came with the rail on top. So, yeah, it's already you know, ready for customization. So it's an easy one to customize right here. And so far, so good on this. Uh, I've only put about, uh, probably about five magazines through this. So this is still a brand new weapon. And yeah, you know, hey, so far, so good. I have no complaints on this. No complaints whatsoever. So another one, if you get a chance to get one, definitely go snatch it up. Definitely. Definitely, definitely go snatch it up. All right, let's see. What am I going to do next? Uh, here. This is my Smith & Wesson SD40 VE. Made it with a, a CAA MCK. Um, stabilizing system is what they call it you know and basically this turns a uh, older pistol to a new pistol in my opinion that's the best way to put it because i was about to sell this i was about to let this thing go but once i saw that they were making this i was like okay let me go ahead and keep it and you know let me see uh basically how this performs and i've only shot this pistol inside of this um, stabilizer one time, man. Well, when I say one time, I put about three or four mags through it. And so far, so good. I have no complaints about this. And uh, the way it attaches is easy. You know, you pop, pop it open right here. The gun slides in and, you know, you slide it back in, pop it and you charge it right there. The catch still works. You still have have your slide release right there. And this has a beam on it, has a beam, has a red dot on the top. And you have your flip up sights on it if the red dot goes out. So you're good to go with this. And this, you know, is another one that I haven't used that much. But, you know, so far, so good. I, I mean, it's, you know, phew, it has performed well. I recommend it and don't sell your gun if you got one of these. And at the same time, these guns don't cost a lot. The SD40 VE, they're not expensive guns. And made it with this, it, you know, turns it into a formidable weapon, you know, because you have your extra magazine up there, up here. So now instead of 14 rounds, you got 28. So, you know, I say go ahead and get it. If you can, if you want to, get a thumbs up for me. Gets a thumbs up for me. Uh, let's see what we gonna do next. We'll go here to the Draco. All right, this is the micro Draco. She loud, she obnoxious. She is a straight beast. thing right here is one of my favorites if not my favorite because I just love the the flash the bang the everything it's like everybody's like oh my goodness you know what are you shooting over there you know and you know that's you know 
that's the thing about this gun is it's good for that. You know, if you want to, you know, make some noise at the range, if you want to have a good conversation starter, this is not a viable home defense weapon because you will shoot through your walls, shoot through your neighbor's house. Your ears will be bleeding. Everybody in the house ears will be bleeding. Um, you know, I think this thing works better than a flashbang grenade because it is so loud and it is so obnoxious and the flash is so bright and, you know, but, you know, there's a time and a place for all that. And, you know, home defense is not that time and place. You know, I much more prefer my X FX9 for home defense. But for what it's worth, this gun is a fun, fun, fun gun. And hey, you know, if you can get your hands on one, you will not be disappointed because this is a fun gun to shoot, fun gun to have. And, you know, hey, I, I, it, gets, it gets my blessing. It definitely has my blessing. All right. Let's get the big dog out. All right. This is the big dog. This is my Comrade 12. Comrade 12. And this right here, you know, a lot of people talk about these guns have cycling issues. And it's a jam, Jam Master J and all that. Nah, you just got to use the right ammo in it. Anything above 1,400 feet per second, you are good to go. This thing will eat right through it, blast it through, no jams, and it'll tear your shoulder off because you have to be a man to shoot this gun. This gun is not made for little boys, you know, so you got to put that high velocity stuff up in it and then you will have no issues, you know, and this right here, of course, I put the brake and shroud on it, have the beam and flashlight on it, and this is good for home defense too. As long as you're not shooting wolf slugs through it. You know, if you put slugs through this, you are probably uh, going to have to move about your house because once you shoot them, they're going to blow up and you're just going to have a big mess all over the place. So, now, nah, put um, birdshot in it. Good home defense weapon. Great home defense weapon. As long as you're using the right kind of ammo. You know, other than that, you know, hey, if you can find one of these, get it because... I think this is going to turn into a collector's item. This is definitely going to turn into a collector's item. So this is the Comrade by Kalishnikov USA. K-U-S-A. You know, Comrade. Comrade. There's a close look at it. And I have the Diamondback, well, Night Strike Diamondback set up with the thumb grip on this as well. So... Awesome gun. Awesome, 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 awesome. All right. Here we have, have my Zastava, or Zastava, however you pronounce it. It's a, a ZPAP 92. Yeah. You know, PAP 92. Have the uh, SB Tactical TF 1913 on it. It's been leather wrapped. I have the Bandito foregrip from Kalashna Carver. Look them up on Instagram. They have a lot of awesome work. This right here is actually on one of their um, posts. I actually bought the one from their post. I put the cheese grater on it and I have the vented barrel uh, extension on it. And this right here is, uh, oh, and I have the KGB pistol grip on it. This right here is uh, what I call the gentleman. This right here does not have the characteristics of my Draco. This is a smoother shooter. It's still kind of loud, but nowhere near as loud as the Draco. And, you know, it, it, it has a completely different attitude, a completely different attitude when you're firing it. And the way the wood is on it, it is awesome. It is awesome. It is awesome. And I have not put a rail on this uh, or a side eye. I, uh, for some reason, I've been wanting to keep this where 
you know, this is the one where I have to use my sights on it instead of putting all the electronics on it and all that. I want to keep it as natural as possible. And, you know, I don't know. It's something about this gun makes me want to just keep it, keep it natural. So that is my Zastava ZPAP M92. And this right here is my everyday carry. Uh, this is my IWI Jericho 2 Enhanced. And um, they used to call it the Baby Eagle, but uh, it's called the Jericho now. And same people that make uh, Desert Eagles and all that. And this right here is my everyday carry. It holds 18 plus one. So, you know, walking around about 19 rounds. And this, this is an awesome gun. Awesome, awesome, awesome gun. I I really do do like this gun. And it is not uh one of those that'll break the bank. It's lightweight and it um basically, you know, it has never failed, never jammed, never anything. I mean, I've actually put a lot of rounds through this one, so I can say that this one has, you know, had a little trial on it and I will recommend this as an everyday carry. I know it looks kind of big, but it fits It fits inside the waistband. I appendix carry it all the time and never have any issues. And, you know, hey, I, I suggest getting it. So that uh, that's all the guns I'm going to pull out today. Uh, these are just some of them. And like I say, I got a lot of things uh, about to happen with... Um, with my NAC 9, I got stuff about to happen, and I got some more videos coming down the pipeline that I think are going to be pretty cool. You got to stay tuned to watch that, and uh, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button, uh, hit the notifications, and be on the lookout. Definitely be on the lookout. Johnny Snow up out of here. Thanks for watching.